Hey guys, what's going on? I'm retired Navy SEAL sniper instructor, Chris Sinog and founder of the New Rules of Marksmanship training system. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you some reasons that you could possibly be shooting low and left and how to fix them. Let's go ahead and get started. Joining me now is retired Navy SEAL sniper, Chris Sinog. A lot of people complain about always shooting low and left. This is generally for right-handed shooters. So if you're a left-handed shooter, all of these same things are gonna apply if you're shooting low and right. These are three things that you can do very quickly to kind of self-diagnose yourself and see if you're shooting low and left and how to fix that. So the number one problem that I've seen with people shooting low and left, again with right-handed shooters, is that they are milking the gun. If you just take your hand right now, put it out like you're going to shoot a gun or milk a cow at arm's length, if you squeeze it, you'll see that your hand naturally moves to the left and also down. It's not normal to move up, it's not normal to stay straight. Now we can look at that with the pistol here. So if I squeeze the gun, you can see that the gun is moving low and left. And this tends to be what happens if that's your problem shooting low and left. Now the way to fix this is with a proper grip. So the thing you need to focus on with a proper grip is getting your arm directly behind the firearm when you shoot. Because what most people tend to do is they will draw their pistol with their elbow out or they'll just grab it like this. In this position, when I squeeze, the gun is actually gonna to move to the other side because that's how I'm gripping the gun. Now, if I'm too far over to the other side, the gun's gonna naturally want to go to where I'm gripping the gun there. But if I make sure that my arm is directly behind the gun and I squeeze as hard as I can now with a perfect grip, you can see it's shaking which isn't good because I'm, I'm squeezing too hard, but it's not moving to the left or right. So that's one of the ways to fix it. So the second way that I've seen people shoot low and left is they're actually pushing the trigger with their trigger finger. Again, this is gonna be fixed with a proper grip. When you have that set properly, your finger is gonna naturally land on the face of the trigger where is right for you. So don't put your finger where somebody else tells you to put it. Start off with a proper grip and then your trigger finger is gonna land on the face of the trigger. If I keep this second knuckle right here pointed straight and I press the trigger straight back to the rear, keeping that knuckle straight, the gun does not move. So say I push it and I push this knuckle, the gun will push to the left. Okay. Also, I could be pulling it to the right like that. But if you're shooting low and left, you may be pushing over like that. And it may be because somebody told you, hey, you have to put this pad of your finger on the tip of the trigger. And of course you don't need to. So the last and third thing, if you're shooting too fast and your natural point of aim is not correct, it could be pushing your shots low and left. So I'm going to get in a shooting stance and I'll just show you right here. My natural point of aim is off to the right over here. So if I turn to shoot, every time I shoot this gun, my recoil is going to bring the gun up to my natural point of aim and then I'm going to have to use muscle to push it back and look where it goes, it goes low and left. So that's gonna happen every time I shoot and the faster I shoot, I'm gonna keep throwing those shots low and left. So the cure for this is to make sure that your hips are pointed directly at your target and that your natural point of aim is correct. And that way your recoil is going to be straight up and straight down. So those are three things that could cure your problem if you're shooting low and left. So try those out and remember this, only you can diagnose this problem because there's so many things that go into shooting that somebody watching you can't tell what you're doing. But if you are practicing properly and you're being present when you're training, you'll be able to tell what you're doing wrong and you'll be able to fix it. So that's it for this video. I hope it's helped you out. And until next time, keep paving your path to perfection. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed watching that video. And if you did, I put together my top three videos for learning to shoot at home. And I wanna give those to you absolutely free. 
Now, all you have to do is click the I card that just popped up, or you can go to chrissynog.com forward slash free videos, and I will send you not only those top three videos that I have for learning to shoot at home, but I will also send you a free PDF copy of my new rules of marksmanship manifesto. Click the card, go to chrissynog.com forward slash free videos so I can send you those videos. Keep paving your path to perfection, guys.